All right. Yeah. All right. Morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good. We're good. Seti, Pat, Eric, Rakim, Makis, Marat, Ian, Brandon, Lewis, Mike, Jesus, Andrew, Haley, Yarlene, Tina, Jeremy, Samir, Alyssa, Manny, Woo! Cynthia, <laughs> Adnan, Dave. I think I'm getting everybody. Forgot James. James. Huh? Forgot James. James. Um, so, how's everybody doing? Good. I sent out the email uh, regarding the um, scorecard. Everybody get it? Is there anybody here that is not getting these emails that I send out? I usually try to send it out early Wednesday morning. Um, so you got it? Not last week. Not last week. Not last week. I think I kind of forgot. But this 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 morning I sent it out. So as you can see, hey guys. Um, so we ended up at fantastic. So which is actually a. a Fantastic was last week. We ended up fantastic here this time again. It's a little bit of an improvement from compared to last week because when I uh, sent this out, you can see here, uh, last week we barely made fantastic, but here you can see like we're fantastic. We could have been a fantastic plus, but good thing, the good thing is in terms of our safety and compliance, you guys can see right there, the summary, um, our FICO average is 819, which is good. Seat belt, speeding, sign, distractions, following distance, all of them are pretty good. So keep at it. This week we might see a little uptick in it because we have some new drivers, new team members, and all of, uh, some of those people that are you know just starting. Um, the other key metric that we that we kind of like, I mean that has nothing to do any with anybody. It's just something that has to. It, it it's a, unavoidable. It's this tenured workforce right here. Um, any any idea on what that is? Anybody? Yes, Jerry. People have been around for a little while. Yeah, thank you. But so how much is the time? Yeah. So what the, what the what what Amazon wants us to do is to retain our team. So they want to see more of the people that have been around, or so they consider somebody who's tenured or senior as somebody that has done at least thirty routes. So anytime that we have new people, when we put them in on nursery routes for the first two, three, four weeks until they get to that thirty route they won't be become part of that. So that's something that has nothing. I just wanted to explain it to you and why why you see that fantastic. It would have etched us over if we had all experienced people. Okay. Um, overall, I think we're doing pretty damn good um, in terms of our you know um, customer delivery feedback. We're still kind of like hanging up on that. We're still not where we want to be, but it, it is an improvement compared to where we used to be. Um, any, um, any other? Here, I just wanted, I, this is the email that I went, that went out, guys. So the top drivers, Jose, Tina, Jeremy, and we'll, we'll get them their prices. But overall standing, I put it out here. This is the overall standing, safety. Um, and then, again, back to DNRs. You know, nothing new here, guys. Did it rise? Mm -hmm. It went down a little bit. We were at 80% of our DNRs were Waterbury. This time we went down to like 72%, but regardless, anywhere between 70 to 80% of our DNRs are still Waterbury, guys. And um, I mean, I, I know you guys are trying and that's why I keep on reminding you, please pay close attention to the delivery notes. Do not leave them at the front door if it's an apartment building. Try and bring them back. I will fight that any day of the week. But you get a lot of people take the package and claim that we don't. That happens too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I've been delivering fall when no in Waterbury. Yeah. You know I mean? Like yesterday, two stop I bought back because there's no safe location around Willow, Willow Street. I know you guys know yeah. where Willow is. Perfect. It's, very, it's yeah. bad up there. Yeah. No, I that's that's very good. But I mean, you'll see. Like I did a breakdown. Um, one here. So 52 percent, 52 percent of our DNRs are actually um, front door. Right, so it could be you were leaving it at the front door, but Samir is 100% right. You know, there are people that are taking it and then they're just claiming they never got it. And you do that enough times, Amazon is just gonna blacklist you guys. I mean, that's, it's, it, it won't continue for most, long. Most but, of the delivery was the real door. Yeah. Like yesterday, all real door, yeah. real door, third floor, second floor, I was going up and down, you know. It yeah. took me too long for 100,000. Yeah. Know? The um, customer, you know, delivering it to the customer and then for them to still claim it, that's why I encourage everybody to not give it to the customer. Even if you see them approaching you, just say, sir, ma'am, I have to take a picture. Let me do that. Any other tips that anybody wants to share? Well, we're not supposed to hand it to the customer. I hand it to, to them. I'm well, I'm saying, like, if you hand it to the customer, 
you know, try, still take the picture. try yeah, to take like the picture, tell them, sir, sir hold on, let me put on. it down real quick, take a, take a picture, picture and then yeah. give it to them. So that psychologically, it tells them that we've taken a picture, right? That so it was, just, they received it. It's extra, it's extra sort of like putting it at the back of their head. Oh, because if you give it to the customer, they know there's no picture, no proof. They can just say, I never got it. Even though they claim it with pictures too, but with, it's just an added step, right? Something it's easier to fight if you take a picture. No, no, no. Just put it like deliver to the front door. Put it where you can't see their face or anything like yep. that. Um, there should be no. So team quality. Again, I sent this out as well. So this is the customer delivery feedback. I sent out the entire report as well, guys. So take a look at it where you stand. Um, you can see that almost 80, 80 to 81 percent of our uh, negative feedback is due to us not leaving it at the right location. Right, and and this is this is stuff that we need to make sure that we keep on hammering at as we do it. This is it, right? Jeremy, this is right? drive run professional ten times. Uh, so it's like ten surveys that came back. People said, I mean, that's a very vague statement. Drive yeah. run professional, right? I mean, what do you expect us to show up with a two piece suit, you know, and a tie? <laughs> I mean, really, I don't understand. So being a professional could be different things, like you were speeding or you were driving onto their yard, or you know. You yes, are unruly. Some people are mouthy. You, you know, that has happened. Um, so those are the kind of things that we need to watch out for. Um, relatively mild day today. So hopefully everybody's not going to bake in their seats. So going back to our top drivers, I'd like to give a huge round of applause uh, to all three that have popped up. Tina, Jose, and Jeremy. Um, there are others on it too. Um, and I'm talking about new drivers, you know, that, that have just started a week to two weeks and they're right up there on that list. So I really appreciate everybody's hard work. There are people that were at the bottom of the list, have moved up significantly. Your FICOs are improving. Keep at it, right? So, huge round of applause. Is Jose here today? He's not? Okay. Tina, I know he's here. Just Tina and Jeremy, huge round of applause for these, both of them guys. Appreciate it. Jeremy, you get to pick from these fantastic prices. The bell. The bell. He wants the bell. All right. There you go. Let me walk around the admin. I think this is the bell. Just make sure. Yeah. This is it. Put it right here. And Tina. Can I stand on mine, dude? You want to what? Can I stand on mine from earlier? Uh, Tina wants fifty dollars cash. Um, is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. All right, fine. Tina, we'll get you fifty cash. All right. Uh, <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. So I owe you that. Um, any other questions, concerns? Special shout out also to Alyssa. Alyssa is like one of the top drivers again. It's supposed to be she was up there, but I just had to make a call in terms of people that deliver more. Yarlene has improved significantly. She's up there. Haley as well. Um, any questions in terms of delivery? Any concerns? This customer came to me at Bethlehem, whoever is delivering, their, their package are smelling like me. So guys, um, I'm going to put this out uh, just very, very clearly in terms of like absolutely zero tolerance about this. Smoking, anything. Weed, cigarettes, any of these vans is completely prohibited. If you're, if you're a smoker, that's fine. Take a break, go outside and smoke. Do not smoke weed in the van. Come on guys. While you're delivering. Right? I know weed is legal in this state. There's really no way for us to test because we, we don't do that. We don't do random tests. It's not really tests. legal, legal but, yet. But at the same time, <laughs> it's really not. drivers are also complaining about pack, uh, the vans smelling like weed. Mm -hmm. Right? Cigarettes too. Yeah, yeah. cigarettes too. Yeah. So I've said this countless times. This will be like zero tolerance. If we give you a van and it smells like weed, we need to know about it right away. Because if, if it doesn't, somebody else complains about it. Whoever drove it the previous time is going to be gonna get accused. Yeah. Same thing with, um, you know, trash. When you're filling up, please make sure you remove the trash. Does everybody here know not to put premium? Yeah. Right? We're all putting regular gas. I did that one time by accident. Right? I premium. Absolutely no premium. Unless you're putting in diesel, you have the diesel vans, that's fine. You put in the diesel. But other than diesel, it should be only regular gas. Mm -hmm. No super, no plus, nothing. Right? I get the reports. Mm -hmm. There are people that are putting super. We have to, like, basically, you know, answer to that, too. 
right, so any other questions? Concerns? Manny? Haley? Cindy? Tina? Marlene, you're never short of words. Where's she at? No, she's quiet. Anything we need to know? Ian? Where's she at? Anybody else? No? Oh, Pasha is here. Pasha, did you want to say something? Yes, I have, uh, good morning. Everybody. Pasha is the uh, OTR manager up here at Amazon, so. Just a reminder, thank you so much. Nutmeg was number one last whole week for our engine of compliance. And I don't need to say much. We need to come back. Yesterday and day before yesterday was a little dip. Uh, just one more announcement, just to uh, remind you guys, it's a safety metric. It's super important. I know it's frustrated, but uh, we have to comply with compliance. So just engine off on every star, but thank you so much. Thank you. So again, um, I, just, I just wanted to, you know, uh, piggyback on what Pasha said. We were doing, we were, we were like really the, at one of the top performers in terms of engine off compliance. For some reason, I don't know why, it's like I have to keep on seeing this over and over and over again, every day, day in, day out. Guys, that's, that's important, that's a safety issue. Please keep at it, we don't wanna come at the bottom. We're like starting to slowly go down towards the bottom, right? So engines off, very important, keep I at it. I have a question about that. Yeah. So we turn it off, yep. we make our delivery, and let's say we have to empty out another tote. Can we turn it on for the AC? Because it'd be hot in the back. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. You can do now, that. I've been doing that. Yeah, but sure. I mean, once you turn it off, once you're at a stop, you turn it off, um, and you go do your delivery, you can come back and start it. That that counts as an incident that you've turned it off. Okay. Yeah. So luckily, today is a good day, so I don't think you'd have to have that matter. But again, engines off, no super premium gas. Always read the customer instructions, guys. Really proud of you. And then we're going to have more pizza nights. If there's any other ideas in terms of food or anything, please yeah, share. Yeah, you only did it to one half hey, of the team. Man. You only do it to the other half. No, we did it twice. I didn't see it. No, maybe you weren't working that day. So then you're just picking people who just constantly working because I work for No, I mean, I didn't see it. Which days are you working? I so. seen it both times. So. Yeah, so there you go. You work for so we'll pick we'll pick different days so that Tina can have her pizza. Exactly. There you go. There. All right. Well, we'll we'll, we'll pick different days, guys. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So, based on what Tina just said, there will be pizza here when you guys come back today. All right, guys. Hope you have any bucks too. All right. <laughs> Demanding. I mean, she wants interest on it too. No, I just want it today. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you.